What do we have? Christina Brown. Sister called in saying that she found her in the bathtub. From what I see, it may appear to be an accident. Maybe even a suicide. Tragic. So very tragic. Alright guys, let's go ahead and gather up some evidence. Hello, Miss Brown. What's the problem, sir? I apologize for any inconveniences. We just have a few questions regarding your sister, Christine. I didn't kill her if that's what you were asking! <clears throat> well, if you had let me finish, you're only suspected to be partially involved with her murder. We just have a few questions to ask you, if that's alright. So let's begin with your place of employment. No, I don't think she was too helpful. We barely got anything out of her. The average user works at CVS Pharmacy, and uh, Christina works at the hospital, but we didn't get too much else out of her. She didn't drink or do drugs either. Well, they both did have the conviction for the charges of uh, paraphernalia for the opiates. She claims that they didn't argue. Yeah, I honestly don't know. She didn't even know that her own sister was pregnant, though. This isn't adding up. Yeah, I don't know what else could be going on here. Here are the DMV records. Oh, thank you, Dr. Rudd. Mm. It's all starting to come together. Alright, so I've looked through the I looked through the information that you sent me. Um did doesn't really seem like anything's adding up. What? Look at the driving records. Wait, didn't you say we found something in her blood? Opiates? Maybe it was an accident. What? There was something in the Tylenol bottle. It wasn't Tylenol? Looks like we do have a lead. Oh, did we get anything from the neighbor? No? How about the coworker? Hmm. Dr. Wrecking Ball, huh? Well, let's set up an uh, interview with him and let's see how that goes, alright? Alright, let's get this going, man. Hello, Dr. Wrecking Ball. Let's get this over with. Okay. Where do you work? Really? So you're looking at me? Yeah. Why? Why not? You had an affair with her that we already found out about. Okay. Hey. I don't know. She was also pregnant. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. Well, you're the only one that she had a relationship with that we can even count for. Oh, really? So I'm, I'm, the, I'm the culprit? Really? You're not a culprit yet. What are you getting at? Did you kill Christina Brown? What do I look like? A murderer. I had enough. I want to talk to my lawyer. Okay? Thank you for your time. We'll be seeing you again.
Dude, I told you what we were supposed to look through. <sighs> You're supposed to get the fingerprints that we've collected and compare them with each other. But, you know what he did? Then why not be set? Oh, uh, okay. So what have you uncovered? Give me a second. Didn't we uncover any hair on the piece of clothing that we found? Um, yeah. Can you give me a sample of that? Because I think we're going to need to test them. One, oh, um, one more thing. Get samples of the fetus and compare them to the DNA of Dr. Wrecking Ball, okay? Do it right away, alright? Um, I'm going to continue looking through these papers, but for now, thank you, and, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for the reminder. sister's death, you called in, reporting from how your sister was found in the bathtub, unconscious and unresponsive. With that information, we can assume that your sister might have died from drowning in the bathtub. From what we uncovered in the crime scene, all the evidence seemed like it would point out that she died of an accidental death by drinking too much alcohol and falling unconscious in the bathtub. However, we tested that she never died in the bathtub since there were no water in her lungs, so we ruled out that she never died from drowning. We found out that she actually died from opiates in her system. From what our team has presumed, Christina Brown entered her house with a headache and decided to take Tylenol to relieve the pain. Apparently it might have been a severe headache. Believing it was Tylenol, she decides to take two in hopes of an immediate pain reliever. Though it may have seen it was Tylenol as the bottle itself was left open, unfortunately there wasn't any Tylenol in the bottle, instead there were opiates. Since your fingerprints were all over the crime scene, we already know that you were there when she died. Your fingerprints were on that bottle. We can presume that you held that bottle before she did, and switched out the Tylenol pills for the opiates. Then you placed the bottle back in the restroom. During our investigation, we discovered there were remnants of saliva in front of a cup of water. We've already figured out that the cup of water must have been Christina's, and we've already tested that and confirmed that. 
However, we also found out that Saliva belonged to Christina. From the looks of it, she must have died on that table, unconscious, after drinking the opiates. We found scuff marks on the floor. There were shoes on the floor as well. We've tested that. The scuff marks belong to that shoe. So we can presume that she was dragged. You dragged her body and placed her in the bathtub. Then you took her clothes off and placed them besides the bathtub to make it seem like she was about to take a bath. Then you decided to take a wine glass and wine bottle, fill them up, and place them all over the crime scene, with the wine bottle in the trash can and the wine glass next to her near the bathtub. Then you decided to call the cops. until you can talk to a judge about bail in the morning. You are entitled to one phone call. Just remember, everything you have said today can and will be used against you in court. Have a nice night, Brigitte. Yeah. Alright, come on this round. Hey guys, it's me. Well, uh, here's a special message to all of you. First of all, to the group who's been working with me with this project. I would like to thank you so much. This is one of the most complex projects and one of the most interesting projects I've ever done in my life. I've never done anything this interesting or this <laughs> entertaining. And it's one of the best things I've ever done and ever edited. So I thank you so much for your participation and thank you so much for making this possible. And now to all you seniors in this class, I would like to say you have made this year a wonderful year. All of you, alright? You all will have a special place in my heart, and I will miss you all, alright? Especially you, Ms. Berk. Ms. Berk, you are one interesting teacher. I have no idea what to say right now, but okay, whatever. Let's just end this right now. I love you all, and I'll miss you. I will see you again someday, if I can. But, bye. From what I see, it may appear to be an accident. Maybe even a suicide. Tragic, so very tragic.
yourself scared, like in fear, like maybe cry, yeah, keep, like, keep that expression. You're trying to not get oh! Oh! Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 